potholes in my life. Everybody's saying what to do when sucker. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another monkish beer review tonight. We're back out in the garage with the video games. Um, this is potholes. This is a, what is this? This is a six and a half percent alcohol by volume Indy Pale Ale. Um, I can't remember, the, I remember reading this when they released it. I think this might have Mosaic and Vic Secret maybe, I can't remember. Um, this beer is hilarious because Monkish released this beer with a lager called Think About It and the beer was that stuck around for a while. Um, it's funny to me that all the new money Hayes bros have no interest in single IPAs. I don't know if they just think that they're not tradable, secondary is not worth it. If it's not a double IPA, people don't care. And it's hilarious to me because a lot of you guys are sleeping on probably amazing beers. So um, it's fine. I mean, more for us who can't go up there and get it. Like we actually have a shot at getting beers like this because it doesn't sell out instantly and people don't ask a million dollars in trade. So thank you, New Money Haze Bros, for sleeping on beers like this. We, we appreciate it, we really do. Um, this was canned on 8 16 17 i don't know if you can see that or not with the glare so we are today's the 15th we are one month old um potholes in my lawn i think that was a de la soul song i don't know i wasn't a big i think it was de la soul i wasn't a big de la soul guy admittedly sorry i don't know if that offends anybody but i just wasn't um i don't know if i was just too young for de la soul i me myself and i, I think it was a de la soul song i like that song but i don't i have no idea um i will look it up i like i said i think it is but it'll be in the intro to this video i'll listen to it afterwards that's the cool thing about monkish beers like they've done a couple releases like when when we reviewed with no chain i didn't know that song and when i listened to it i'm like oh wow that song is amazing <laughs> so yeah uh big shout out to my man craig for hooking this one up thank you sir we will be using our monkish boombox glass because we do that when it comes to music beers and let's get into this one. I really have not heard much about this. Um, Craig had texted me actually today. He drank a can of this and said it was really, really good. Where should we put that right there? I feel like this camera is pretty far away, but whatever. I only have one light out here now and I'm trying to like get the lighting okay. The sound probably sucks. It echoes out here. I know the struggle is real, but you know what? We're just going to drink beer and forget about it. So yeah, uh, that beer, it's like that lemonade light juice color. Um, I don't know, finger of bright white head. Six and a half percent, we're not gonna get any alcohol legs, I doubt, but that beer looks absolutely amazing in that glassware. Monkish, I mean, I've said it, they're my favorite brewery. Um, they're on the West Coast. They're local to me, John, Nathan, they are local. <laughs> I've never been there because LA traffic is horrendous and I just, I don't do Los Angeles, but um, they've nailed the appearance, they've nailed the, I like everything, mouthfeel, flavors, everything is on point with them. So um, I just wish, I really, really wish that they could brew bigger batches. They're just a small brewery. And that's the problem. Like a lot of people get upset with the way Monkish trades. They just, when you look at someone like Treehouse is in a new brewery, they're releasing, there's days where they have 1600 cases of beer. Monkish can only release like 180 cases. It's just the whole supply and demand right now is crazy. And it's kind of ruining trades for people. People are really upset at Monkish Traders, but I mean, that's, I guess it's the way it goes. I just feel fortunate when I can get a can of this to review. So it is what it is. Let's stop talking and shove our nose in this beer. It smells like, it smells like if you juiced a grapefruit rind. <laughs> it's, it, it smells like grapefruit juice, but it smells pithy. Oh, it smells so good though. It's like that orangey grapefruity. It's really, really like citrus forward. I, like I said, I think there might be mosaic in here, but I don't know the hops. I'm definitely not getting, like mosaic to me, usually I get, I've talked about this, I get like that berry thing. This is really, I mean, this beer, it's, it smells green to me. It smells hoppy. It smells herbaceous. It smells, um, it's like that earthy, just green kind of grassy, like there's even like a floral thing in there, but it's crazy juicy. It's like orange juice. It's grapefruit juice. It's funny, like a lot of times with monkish beers, and again, this one might be a little cold. I don't know. I just pulled out of the fridge. I want to drink it. You get like that crazy dank thing. This one doesn't have like that uh, dank aspect to it. I mean, it's very much green and like hoppy, but it's not like that opening a bag of 
something and smelling it and like, ooh, wow, that's dank. It doesn't have that to it. It's super soft and really, really juicy smelling. So let's go ahead and taste it. Craig, cheers, brother. By the way, I think Craig's gonna do some beer reviews uh, next weekend. We will see. <laughs> that is delicious. It's juice. That's fucking awesome. Maybe, was I not expecting that? I don't know. This is really good. That's a single IPA. Like this I'm talking about. You fuckers who are like, oh, not a double IPA, don't care. This beer's fire. Tastes very much follows the nose. It's orange juice, grapefruit juice. And then as it goes across your tongue, just a little bit of that pithy kind of citrus rind. It's green though. There's a little bit of that kind of green hot matter tiny bit of bitterness, but this is super soft and really, really juicy. It's funny because we just drank in perpetuity. I don't know when that review went up and when this is going to go up, but we're reviewing beers back to back. I tell you guys that I'm honest with you guys. Um, that beer was really, really soft and juicy. That's how this is. And he texted me. and was like, this beer reminds me of a treehouse beer. He is spot on when he's talking about that because a lot of times with monkish, most of the time it reminds you it's a West coast beer. You get that kind of pithy, dank green, like really biting hot matter to kind of balance out all the juice. This is super soft and really, really juicy. This is amazing. I don't know why people weren't talking about this beer. I have no idea. Maybe it's evolved a little bit with four weeks on it. It's a month old. It's drinking fucking amazing right now. This is really, really good. I dig this. If you like orange juice, if you like tangerine juice, if you like a little bit of like pithy citrus, um, just kind of whatever, like a little bit of like that biting sort of rindy thing. Just it's, it's slight, just right on the middle of your tongue. And then it just flies off and it just finishes again with more of like that orangey tangerine. There's a little bit of tropical fruitiness in there, but it's juice. It's fucking juice in a glass and it's six and a half percent. You could sit and crush these. I wish there was a place like local to me that had all these like single IPA monkish beers on tap. Cause I would just sit there and go ham. I really would. They're fantastic. A lot of people think Monkish is hype. Their beers are legit. They really are. They're whatever. I don't need to go into like the argument of who's the best brewery or who's brewing the best beer. For me, my favorite's Monkish. They're fucking amazing. It's Monkish and Treehouse and then everyone else. That's for me personally. I just, I don't know. I wish I could get a lot of their beer. It's impossible though. They just don't brew enough of it. Um, this is fantastic though. I'm going to go, I mean, this is an A plus beer. It's world-class as far as single IPAs. Um, what was the other single IPA that we reviewed from that was, that was amazing. Oh, life is foggy. That beer is fucking awesome. Um, this beer is up there. I mean, as far as like single IPAs go, it's like, it's, it is, it's 98. This is whatever. Hoppy burps are good. Did you guys sleep on this beer? You're bummed if you did. That's Potholes from Monkish. 98 out of 100, AKA A+, AKA World Class, AKA. Thanks New Money Hayes Bros for allowing me to get this beer. So if you guys have had it, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Craig, thank you so much for sharing this one, bro. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Potholes in my life. Everybody's saying what to do when Sucker Luna kickstarts.